Hey guys, uh, right now I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to um, uh, do, do the Yo-Yo trick snap start. So just snap start your Yo-Yo. So let me just wind this back up. Okay, so let's say you're just doing normal tricks, like just doing normal tricks as you would normally do. Yo-Yo just stops. You mess up and it stops. And you don't want to do the trouble of winding it up. Because it's annoying. So most yo yo are lazy. So they learned a trick called the snap start. It looks like this. Show that one last time. Looks like this. like that. So the way you're going to do it is throw your yo-yo down, I mean just to learn it, stop your yo-yo, and then you're going to put, okay, you can't see the string, you're going to put your finger under the string, so not over like you're doing a bind, under like you're doing an underbind, then grab the yo-yo, and if you can snap, that'll help. If you can't, it'll still be okay. Uh, if you snap like with your ring finger, that's okay, but you should learn it with your middle finger. It's way better and it's easier to learn. So what you're gonna do is put your middle finger on the top of the yo-yo, thumb on the bottom, then you act as if you're um, snapping, except you're spinning the yo-yo and there's a wide gap. Like that. So the way you're gonna do is snap and then it'll kinda do that it won't fully spin and do a bind and bring it up. So to do this, try one more time. Just hold it like that, snap, and bring it up. If you practice that it'll help a lot. It'll be a lot easier when you're like in a competition and you have to wind it up. Also, if you can't do it that well, always remember you can just go like this when you're binding. So when you snap and it's not that well, you can just move your hand up and then the string will um, catch on to the yo-yo. So that's the move snap start. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and bye.